From bird-like dinosaurs with massive feathered wings, to shark-like ones with massive teeth, and from the Myasaura that was made popular in Jurassic Park, to fear-inducing Megalosaurus, there have been some remarkable and truly amazing fossil discoveries found in America. Dinosaurs are no longer alive. Fortunately, their fossilized remains have preserved a wealth of knowledge about them and are an excellent source of evidence for past life on Earth. In some special cases, these fossils are preserved in the most unique manner and in the most unexpected places. Many paleontologists have dug and discovered dinosaur fossils from diverse geographical regions since the 17th century and continue to do so now. Are you excited to meet our most amazing dinosaur fossils ever found in America? We start with number 10. Euteranus. If Hollywood has taught us anything about Tyrannosaurus rex, it's that it possessed green, scaly, lizard-like skin. The Euteranus was a Tyrannosaur as well. However, this early Cretaceous meat-eater possessed a feathered coat and existed in Asia 50 million years before the North American T-Rex. This means that all Tyrannosaurus had feathers at some point in their lives. Therefore, juvenile and adolescent T. rex individuals were as soft and downy as baby ducks. Euteranus is known from three specimens and is the biggest dinosaur with direct evidence of feathers. The filaments in the feathers resemble the soft down of young chicks and serve to keep the dinosaur warm during cooler seasons. Euteranus possessed a pronounced nasal crest, which was most likely employed for show. Euteranus was a monstrous bipedal predator. The original has a known length of 9 meters and an estimated weight of 1,400 kilograms. Its skull is believed to be 90 centimeters long. What do you think about a feathered T-Rex? Let us know in the comments. Number 9. Brachylophosaurus Although Leonardo, as he was called by the excavation crew, was not the first example of the Brachylophosaurus unearthed, he was by far the most impressive. This almost intact, mummified adolescent hadrosaur ushered in a new era of paleontology technology when researchers pummeled his fossil with high-powered x-rays and MRI scans in an attempt to put together his internal anatomy. Many of the same techniques are currently being used on dinosaur fossils that are in far less immaculate condition. Brachylophosaurus, which means short-crested lizard because of its modest crest, was a mid-sized member of the hadrosaurid dinosaur family. It is known from skeletons and bone bed material from the Judith River Formation of Montana and the Oldman Foundation of Alberta, which lived around 75 million years ago. Have you checked your backyard for dinosaur fossils? You never know. Number 8. Archaeopteryx Charles Darwin's earth-shattering essay on evolution, On the Origin of Species, was published in 1860. As fate would have it, the following years witnessed a succession of amazing discoveries at the limestone deposits of Solnhofen, Germany. This led to a full, exquisitely preserved fossil of an ancient organism, the Archaeopteryx, that looked to be the missing link between dinosaurs and birds. More compelling transitional specimens, such as the Cynosauropteryx, have since been discovered. Still, none have had the same effect as the pigeon-sized dino bird. The term Archaeopteryx is derived from the Greek words Archaeos and Teryx, which indicate ancient and feathered, respectively. The discovery of the Archaeopteryx led to the discovery of numerous transitional creatures, although none have had the same amazing impact as this organism. Do you think the Archaeopteryx could fly? Let us know what you think in the comments. Number 7. Iguanodon After the Megalosaurus, Iguanodon was the second dinosaur to be granted an official genus name. More significantly, its abundant fossils sparked a heated discussion among naturalists concerning whether or not these ancient reptiles existed at all. Georges Cuvier and William Buckland dismissed the bones as belonging to a fish or rhinoceros. However, Richard Owen hit the Cretaceous nail on the head by recognizing Iguanodon as a real dinosaur. It wasn't until the 1870s that a crucial Iguanodon find established that the spikes were thumbs rather than horns. However, it is still unknown what they were utilized for. The thumbs of Iguanodon may have been employed as defensive weapons, either against its meat-eating predators or against other species. 
Others, however, believe that the spiky thumbs were specialized instruments used for removing foliage from trees or cracking open seeds. Weird herbivorous dinosaur, right? Number 6. Mosasaurus Before the 18th century, Europeans had been digging up strange-looking bones along lake beds and riverbanks for hundreds of years. The remarkable skeleton of the sea reptile Mosasaurus was significant since it was the first fossil to be recognized as an extinct species by naturalist Georges Collier. Scientists recognized they were dealing with organisms that had lived and perished millions of years before humans ever existed on Earth. Mosasaurus was a carnivorous dinosaur that lived in Europe and North America throughout the Cretaceous epoch. Its fossils have been discovered in the Centre Loire Valley of France, South Dakota, and Nebraska. The Mosasaurus was a massive aquatic lizard that lived in what would become the North Atlantic Ocean during the late Cretaceous period. It was called after the Mose River, which was where the first fossil specimen was discovered. The great Mosasaur species may reach lengths of more than 50 feet, with a streamlined head bristling with fangs, a barrel-like trunk for its midsection, and a long, strong tail. The two sets of fins indicated that it was an aquatic reptile rather than a fish. Early paleontologists assumed that the Mosasaur was an ancient crocodile or monitor, but it was later discovered that it was a completely distinct species, unconnected to any extinct animal. Mosasaurus lived at the water's surface because it breathed air like whales. They were carnivores, eating whatever edible creatures happened to cross their path, most likely fish, plesiosaurs, and even other mosasaurs. The mosasaurus is so different from the iguanodon. The mosasaurus appears more than three times in Jurassic World. Do you remember any of the scenes it appears in? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Coelophysis Although Sea of Physelis was named in 1889 by Edward Cope, it wasn't until 1947 that Edwin Colbert discovered numerous Coelophysis skeletons at the Ghost Ranch fossil site in New Mexico that this dinosaur made a splash. This finding demonstrated that at least some tiny theropod taxa migrated in big herds, and that enormous populations of dinosaurs, both meat-eaters and plant-eaters, were often drowned by flash floods. The majority of Coelophysis fossils were discovered in Rio Arriba County, New Mexico, and were 205 to 210 million years old. Scientists concluded that Coelophysis was a carnivorous cannibal based on their fossilized stomachs containing tiny reptiles, fish, and other bones. This dinosaur's name is derived from the Greek words koilos and physis, which means hollow and condition, respectively. Although this specimen is unlikely to become popular among paleontologists, its finding indicated that most dinosaurs that migrate and reside in big groups are frequently drowned by flash floods. It must have been weird finding tiny reptiles in the Coelophysis' belly. If you were scanned, what would be in yours? Number 4. Hadrosaurus Hadrosaurus is more significant historically than paleontologically. This was the first near-complete dinosaur fossil ever discovered in the United States, New Jersey to be specific, where it is now the official state dinosaur. Hadrosaurus, named by American naturalist Joseph Leedy, gave its name to a large family of duck-billed dinosaurs known as hadrosaurs. However, experts are divided on whether the original type fossil deserves to be called a genus. Historically, this fossil was thought to be the first almost entire dinosaur fossil found in the United States, and most likely the first complete dinosaur fossil discovered anywhere in the globe. This dinosaur's first fossil was discovered and scientifically described in 1868. During Leedy's time, this dinosaur was supposed to walk in a tripodal, kangaroo-like stance. However, contemporary research on this dinosaur has revealed that it walks upright. Number 3. Myasaura. In paleontology circles, Jack Horner is most recognized as the inspiration for Sam Neill's character in Jurassic Park. But he's also famed for uncovering the large nesting sites of the Myasaura, a mid-sized hadrosaur that roamed the American West in vast herds. The fossilized nests and well-preserved bones of baby, juvenile, and adult Myasaura reveal that at least some dinosaurs had active family life and did not leave their young once they hatched. Many paleontologists regard the Myasaura, also known as the Good Mother Lizard, as one of the most important dinosaur fossils for providing a thorough glimpse of how these remarkable beasts lived. The growth rate, 
metabolism, sexual maturity, and physical maturity were all properly reflected by the fossils. The Myasura fossils also provide vital evidence that dinosaurs formerly had an engaged family life. The fossils also reveal that they do not leave their offspring after hatching. How many times have you seen Jurassic Park? How many dinosaurs did you recognize your first time seeing the movie? Number 2. Diplodocus By chance, most of the dinosaur fossils discovered in late 18th and early 19th century Europe belonged to tiny ornithopods, or somewhat larger theropods. The discovery of Diplodocus in western North America's Morrison Formation ushered in the period of huge sauropods, which have since caught the public's imagination far more than more mundane dinosaurs like Megalosaurus and Iguanodon. It didn't hurt that industrialist Andrew Carnegie sent Diplodocus castings to natural history museums all around the world. Aside from being the longest dinosaur, the Diplodocus is also noted for its unusual body design, which includes two rows of bones under its tail for structural support. The species D. halorum had the longest total skeleton of any Diplodocus fossil discovered, measuring 33 meters. Scientists Benjamin Mudge and Samuel Wendell Williston unearthed the first Diplodocus skeleton in 1878 in Como Bluff, Wyoming. Except for their heads, which are seldom recovered with the entire body skeleton, the bones of this dinosaur species are fairly frequent. Number 1. Megalosaurus An English professor at Oxford University found a fragment of the femur of a very huge creature in 1676. Scientists couldn't tell if the fossil was from a reptile or another similar critter at the time, and they couldn't believe how enormous it was. William Buckland ultimately identified this species under the genus Megalosaurus 150 years later. This monster was given the scientific name Megalosaurus Bucklandi in honor of William Buckland. However, it took more than 20 years for a scientist called Richard Owen to definitively identify the fossil as that of a dinosaur. There are a lot of amazing things that are buried deep within the sands of time. These fossils help us picture what roamed the surface of the Earth. If you enjoyed this video, we have another like it of the most amazing archaeological finds that scientists still can't explain. I'm sure you'll enjoy watching it too.